Oh, hello, Thelma. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hi. I'll be fine. And you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Ready for nice. the weekend? Huh? Are you ready for the nice. weekend? Nice. It's Friday. <laughs> yeah, it's Friday. Right? Your body? No. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Yes. Body knows it. All right. Let's see. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Welcome. Welcome. Let me see. All right. Um, okay. Hello. Neftali, Alvin, Thelma, Jackie, Yanari, Abigail is connecting. Are you ready for the weekend? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Yanari. Yes, teacher. All right. Let me see, Jackie. Okay. All right. No problem, Jackie. Thank you for notifying me. All right. Let me see, Jackie. All right, any plans for this weekend? Anything interesting? Just staying home. Just staying <laughs> home this, this weekend, yeah. right? Yes, we have a carnival here in San Miguel, but I'm going to stay home, right? There's been a lot of traffic accidents, right? And oh, Where man. is the carnival? Tomorrow. Yes, it's tomorrow. Yes. I didn't know. Yes, right. It's going to be, they're already setting up everything. They're closing roads, right? But people are driving crazy. <laughs> I was like, wow, right? I saw like two big accidents today and, and a motorcycle came in front of me earlier and I was like, oh, come on, right? But everybody's getting ready for the carnival. They're all excited, right? Trying to get moving and stuff, right? So I think that's that's the issue, right? Everybody's trying to hurry, get space, agarrar espacio, stay overnight, and all those types of things. Right? But I hope you you have different plans, right? That those are the plans over here in in Oriente, right? But I normally don't don't go. I've been I've been to to the carnival before, but it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of movement. But you know, it's fun sometimes. I like to get on the rides. Me gusta subirme en Chicago and all those types of things, right? I, I love that. Or play the games, right? Play the darts, tirar los dardos así for the balloons, <laughs> right? So that that's pretty much. Hello, Jennifer. Welcome. Abigail, welcome. Blanca, welcome. Okay, Jennifer, I hope you feel better, okay? No problem. I hope you feel better by Monday, okay? I will take note. That way I can uh, exclude you from the activity for today, okay, Jennifer? All right, no problem. All right. Remember, if you're not feeling well or something and you're a little sick, just tell me, okay? And I will exclude you from the activities, all right? I understand when sometimes you don't feel good or something. I understand that, okay? So all you have to do is tell me, teacher, I'm not feeling well, and I will gladly uh, exclude you from the Hi, teacher, I'm driving right now. Okay, so we have Blanca driving, okay? Blanca, I hope you get home soon and drive safely, okay? So let's continue. All right, hello, Doris. How are you? You doing fine? Fine, fine, fine. All right, great. Let me see. Abigail, hello, Abigail. How was your day today? Hello, teacher. It was, it was nice. Oh, yeah, <laughs> People tell from you. United States. Oh, today. Right. <laughs> okay, great, great. Would you like to share something with the class? Would you like to share or say something to the class and anything? A little bit more? Uh, uh, my experience uh, working from people uh, from, UI, uh, from US, mm -hmm. uh, 
yesterday and today was really quite day <laughs> because they take uh, uh, these holidays and all the people is enjoying with their family or they go out. Yeah, for or, Thanksgiving, right? Yes, and so that's why they are off in those in these days. Okay, okay. It was a day, it was good for me. <laughs> Okay, all right, great. I'm glad to hear that. Remember, if you ever need to ask me any questions in regards to anything, Abigail, feel free to ask me, okay? Anything I can help you with anytime, just contact me, okay? Okay, all right. thank you, teacher. All right, no problem. All right, let me see. Um, today we're going to continue with Unit 3. We're going to finish the next two pages and then for Monday we will finalize the last two pages maybe if we have time we can do maybe half of one but we only have like four pages left and these are the ones that estas son las semanas que se van más rápido right because as you know Monday we finish unit three right it's like wow right unit two was long the logistics right but this is warehouse. Ya para el lunes terminamos la unidad tres. All right. And, uh, and then on Tuesday, we begin unit four. La última unidad. On Tuesday. All right. And then uh, we just have seven more days. I mean, six more classes. Right. After today. And we are finished. All right. So it was, uh, I think unit two was long. Right. Two weeks. Two weeks for unit two. But. We will continue with the warehouse. And yesterday I gave you an activity that you did in, in pairs, right? That activity that you did yesterday is going to be related with the activity for today. Remember the activity that you did yesterday where there was, you had to solve some issues, some algunas dilemmas in the companies, right? And but that was by the book. Today you're going to create your own your own uh, issues in regards to warehousing. Now we'll explain a little bit more in detail. Let me let me first take the first attendance. All right. Let me see. Okay. Du, du, du. Abigail? Present teacher. All right, thank you. Good evening, uh, teacher. Welcome. Yes, Carla. Present. I thank am you, late because my internet is wrong. Okay, Carla, no problem. Um, I'm beginning the attendance right now, so you came right on time, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, you. no problem. Okay, Brenda? Brenda, okay, not here. Carlos? Carlos, not here. Doris? Present. All right, See. Okay, thank you. Edwin? Edwin? Okay, not here. Francisco? Not here. They're probably over here in the carnival. <laughs> ya están llegando aquí. <laughs> They're probably here. Let me see. Freddy's? También para el carnaval, right? <laughs> All right. I'm just joking, okay? Glenda, Glenda, not here yet? All right. It is, it is. Present teacher. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> All right, thank you. It is, <clears throat> Jackie? Let me drink some water. All right, thank you, Jackie. Let me see. 
Jarvin. Jarvin. <clears throat> Jarvin? Oh, he's connecting right now. Okay, Jennifer? Present. Okay, thank you. Y Juan Jose? Juan Jose? Okay, not here. Carla? Carla? Present. All right, great. Miguel? Miguel? Okay, not here. Neftali? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Y Rolando? Rolando? All right, not here. Thelma? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Janari? I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. And finally, Alvin. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, teacher. Right. Yes, Alvin. I have problems with the exercise number three in the platform. Okay. Um, with the when you have to apply the the punctuation. Okay. What I'm number? Writing the, what number? Three point what? Three point. Three point three. Three point three. Three. Okay. Three point three. Let me see something. Which ones? All of them. In todas. Three point three point five. No. Because in two of two of the five. Okay, what number? I write in the in the right way, but I don't know why. Which one did you say again? Three point. Three point five. Three point five. What you number? You have to apply the 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 punctuations. Okay, but uh, can you tell me the number? Three point five. Uh, one two. There's five. Is it number two, number three, number four? Um, number one, number three, and number four. Number one, number three. We'll remove items from the cartons and package. And packages. And packages. Okay. So what is the, what is the problem that you're having of? Uh, I don't know. I I wrote in the right way, but I don't know what what is the mistake. Uh, let me see. You're talking about this one? Yeah. All right. Yeah, that one. Okay. Remember the punctuation. You have to put a semicolon. Yeah, I I wrote it, but you I know, don't know what? why. You know what? It doesn't have the space here. How about that, that's the, why. okay? What about this way? The period and then a capital letter as a result, comma. Did you try it that way? No, that way, no. Oh, uh, okay. Try to do it that way with the period and then a capital letter as a result, then the comma. Okay. Okay, and then let me know. Then which one else? Number five? Number, let me see, number. Number one, number three, and number four. Uh, the same thing I see here. Use capital letters as a. I capital. just okay. Yeah. All right, you just use the capital letters and see if that works. Okay. And number three. The same uh, thing. Capital. Yeah, put the period, and then use the capital letter. Therefore, okay. and then the comma. All right. Okay. Thank you. Because right here is using semicolon. Yeah. And then the comma. And then the comma, yeah. I used that way, but okay. it was a mistake, maybe, so I didn't know why. Maybe you put a space here. But a veces por los espacios también, right? But do it this way. Okay, thank no you. Don't complicate, don't complicate yourself. Just do it this way where you put the period and then the the transitional word and then the comma. Okay? And then okay. let me know if that doesn't work, then let me know and uh, we can talk about it if it might be a technical issue. Okay.
All right. Anyone else that have any issues with the platform, let me know, okay? There's an issue that I already reported, okay? It's on, um, I'm going to share it with you, okay? Because uh, ya me lo mencionaron, I think like two people, the other person didn't send me a screenshot, right? La otra persona que me lo mencionó, pero no me mandó una captura. So I didn't know at first what the issue was. Al principio no sabía qué era lo que estaba sucediendo, pero otro compañero de ustedes sí me la mandó, right? And, and sent it to me uh, last night, I think, anoche or this morning, right? And it's on 3.9, en la 3.9. Recuerden que estas tareas tienen que estar terminadas para lunes, okay? So please, try to finish. Try to finish, right? And Here's the issue, right? The issue was que cuando no le daba enviar, ven este puntuaje? Do you see these points right here? 15 of 20, right? So don't worry about it. I already, I already, I already uh, got in contact with the administration to fix this. So si no miran el 20 abajo, don't worry about it. It's already under review, okay? Ya está en reviso. I, I estoy hablando 3.9. I'm talking about 3.9, okay? So it's only three questions. It's only three questions, but it gives you like 15 to 20, aunque todas están correctas, right? Yeah, yeah, teacher, I have that problem. No problem, I already, I already, um, one of your classmates, well, as a matter of fact, it was uh, Freddy's, right? Freddy sent me the screenshot. Él me mandó la captura que le salía Everything was correct, but it said 15 de 20, right? So yeah. I, I already contacted uh, administration to let them know about their situation. So don't worry about that, okay? It will okay. be fixed, okay? okay? And if it doesn't get fixed, I will call them again on Monday, okay? Or maybe tomorrow because they work on Saturdays and uh, fix it as soon as possible, right? Okay, thank you. All right, so if you have any other issues, feel free to contact me, okay? And I will directly contact administration when we have issues with the platform, okay? Para solventar cualquier, cualquier dilema para ustedes, okay? So don't hesitate. Any other questions? Any other questions? Remember, please, termine la plataforma, okay? Just, it's, it's short. It's very short. Finish. I have already the names of the ones that already finished, right? But uh, on Monday, they're going to ask me. El lunes me van a preguntar. Right? So I don't want to, to uh, send a list, right? Nunca quiero mandar una lista con, con ningún nombre. Never, right? Pero si me la piden, I will do it. I have no choice. So please, just finish the activities, and you don't have to worry about nothing. No se preocupe ya de nada. All right? That's my advice to you. Now, um, we're going to continue. I was going to ask you um, this question. Yesterday we were talking about solving issues with the warehousing, right? Solving issues with uh, the belt and different things that are happening in the, inside warehouses. Which one do you think was the most difficult one? What cree que fue la más difícil para solventar for you? Which one was the most difficult? I can share with you maybe, um, let me see, where's my? Which one do you think was the most difficult one out of these four? It was. Hmm? Which one was the most difficult to, to resolve? Was it number four, number three, number two, or, or number one? What's the least more difficult para solventar? For you. For for me, number three. Okay, number three. Anyone else? I think number three too. Okay, number three. All right. Let me see. Oh, I send it to. Okay. Anyone else? Number 
All right, this is, it talks about docs, right? Docs, I think I mentioned it in, in one breakout rooms. I think it was with, was it Alvin and Abigail, si no me equivoco? Or perdí la memoria, or did I lose my memory? Am I correct? Alvin? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. Well, thank you. Right. Thank you for verifying. Right? I don't want to give a, a different name. It's like, no, you didn't tell us that, right? <laughs> all right. So, all right. So I'm correct on that one, right? Now, here, when I was mentioning to them, right, to Alvin and Abigail yesterday, when they asked about this, number three says docs, right? The important thing here is understand que son docs. Now, when the warehouse doesn't have enough docs, it means that they don't have enough uh, como tarimas or, or ramps to help you maneuver inside the warehouse. That's, the, that's what they're talking about, docs. And I gave them the, the example of when the ships come, cuando llegan los barcos, tiene que haber que un dock para que ellos descarguen el material, right? Those are the same things that we use when we have trailers. You have to have a docking system. And inside the warehouse also a way to have like a ramp to get inside the truck. No literalmente eh, kind of match, así, right? Get on top of it and try to get it. No, that's not the proper way, right? That is unsafe. That is very unsafe, right? Especially when you're unloading. And since we're talking here, in a different perspective, docs, a eso se refiere. All right? A way to unload or upload el cargo either in trucks or inside the warehouse also. Normally it's outside where you, where you load and, and, uh, and load and unload merchandise from the trucks. That's what docs mean. Not enough. No hay suficiente docs. So that's why he's saying they put the products in the aisles. Ahí nomás los ponen, right? They just put them on the floor or in the aisles. What are aisles? ¿Alguien sabe qué significa aisles? Pasillo. Excuse me? Pasillo. Yes. Uh, yes. Right? Now, when we talk about aisles, eh, si son pasillos, you're correct. That is correct. But... Son específicos. And what do I mean by that? Un pasillo no es el pasillo que está como caminar por el pasillo eh, en la, como afuera. No. Aisles are inside. Aisles are inside. Aisles are inside. Inside a store or warehouse. Okay, so that's what it means. Uh, aisles are inside. Son los pasillos dentro de una tienda or a warehouse, right? For example, if you go to Walmart, si usted va a Estados Unidos, if you go to the United States and you go to Walmart, you go to a Super Selectos, you go to H-E-B, Kroger, Walgreens, todas esas tiendas que están allá. No hay Super Selectos, pero I'm just giving you an example. You have... I'm going to write it here. Aisle one, aisle two. Son esa fila que. Have you ever been to the store? Le dice, ¿dónde está tal producto? Sí, en la, en la dos, o en la tres, right? Pasillo tres. Those, when you're inside the store, they're going to tell you this word: aisle one, aisle two. Así que usted ya sabe. If they tell you aisle two, you stay like what? Right? Now you know. Right? Pasillo, pero dentro de, una, de un lugar. Okay? All right. The thing, the reason why I'm asking this question is because on the next page, you're going to create your own. Aquí le dieron los ejemplos, right? They gave you the examples. But in the next activity, here, you're going to make your own. Aquí van a crear sus propios. Aunque dice aquí, go to this exercise, but this is just vocabulary. And that's not what we're going. We're going to do the vocabulary, but 
you're going to do an activity similar to this one, pero que sea propio, suyo o suya. All right, it's going to be your own. But I will explain when we get to that point. I'm just giving you a little feedback of what we did yesterday so we can continue in the same alignment for today. Okay, we will do this page. We will do page 29 and page 30. Right? We will do these two pages today. And then on Monday, we're going to do this right here. A little bit of grammar. Poquito de gramática on Monday with the conditionals, right? The if and la lectura. And that's it. We'll be finished, right? So we're going to focus on this today. Let me stop share. And I'm going back to my PowerPoint. All right. Can you read it, please? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who wants to read the presentation? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. Unit three, warehouse. Vocabulary, problem solving, break a room, worship job, write in November 26th, 2021. Miss teacher, Mr. Henry, intermediate four, class number 19. Very good. Thank you, Janari. Class number 19, we only have We're going up to 25, right? We're almost there. We're almost there. All right, so that is the agenda for today. And if we have time, we will do a little bit extra, but we will focus on the main objective, which is page, page 20, page 20, what page is it, class? Twenty-nine. Okay, very good, very good. All right, page 29, right? Page 29, perfect. Remember that this unit only has, what, uh, 30, 32 pages, right? It's only 32 pages. So we're on page 29 right here, class. And I want, uh, let me see, I would like for Abigail. Where are you? Can you read number seven, please? Okay. Label the warehousing processes using the word from the box. Okay, very good. Can you read the, the vocabulary, please? Inbound processes, layout, and loading. Slotting. Slotting. Yeah, slotting. Yes. Picking, packing, shipping, managing returns. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Now we have we have that here. And let me let me look at something real quick. All right. So we have these vocabulary words. There are six inbound processes, layout and slotting, picking, packing, shipping, and managing returns. Let me see. Uh, uh, hello. Let me see. Hello, Freddy's. Welcome. All right, glad you could join us. Right? I thought you were over here at the carnival getting ready <laughs> for the carnival here in Oriente. Right? All right. Okay, let me see. Let's continue. I will welcome Freddy's. Let me see. We have six vocabulary words here. And you have six definitions. Let's read the first definition. Alvin. Hey, teacher. Your orders must be packed in the right packaging, complete with an accurate content, slip and added to the delivery manifest for dispatch. 
Very good, very good, good job. Thelma, number two, please. Okay, teacher. These girls, these girls need to be unload and then check it off against the original order and the information has to be low, low mm -hmm. against the customer's account. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay. Good job. Number three, please. Um, Freddy, so you just coming in. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Okay, well, number three. Items need to be checked and locked as they receive and put away in the correct binds. Bins. Or packed, bins or packs or pack for dispatch without further storage. All right, very good. Good job. Let me see. Um it is number four. It is okay. Um Doris, can you read number four, please? It must be easy for you pickers to find items. Item 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 in their journey time between iron and between orders should be nine minutes. I okay. don't know. Okay. No problem, Doris. Minimize. Minimize. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Mini, right? Mini. Minimized. Minimized. All right. Thank you, Doris. Great job. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Number five. Um, Janari. Okay, teacher. Okay. Fast, fast moving items need to be near the front of the warehouse. Item that, items that are often bought together need to be close to each other. Items that are easily mistaken, mistaken for each other should be separate. Okay. Separate. Separated. Separated. Excellent. Good job. And Janari, I'm preparing, I'm preparing a kind of a good package for you with everything that you asked me. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. You. So I'm still working. I will send it to you in the weekend. Okay. Okay. Thank All you. Right. No problem. Let me see. Number six. Mm. Carlos. Carlos. Hello, Carlos. All right, let me see. Neftali, can you read number six, please? The right orders must be on the right vehicle at the right time with the right delivery manifest. Okay, can you repeat this word, please? Vehicle. Okay. It's Vehicle, V, V, vehicle. Vehicle. Yes, all right, very good, much better. Thank you, good job, excellent. Now, what I want you to do is try to do these vocabulary words and see if you can do them on your own, all right? <laughs> all right, try to see if you can do these on your own, all right? Figure them out. If you have any questions, just let me know, but I would like for you to do them on your own and try to figure out which vocabulary goes in number one, two, three, four, five, six to accommodate to accommodate the uh, definition. <laughs> when you finish just let me know you do not have to send it to me okay you don't have to send it to me 
I just just tell me when you finish. You'll say, teacher, I finish. All right. And that will be better for me right now. Okay, teacher, I finished the test. Okay, thank you, Thelma. We're going to do it here in class, All right? So don't worry about if you're not sure about something, we will do it. Solo voy.
Now, anyone else is finished? I'm finished. Okay, thank you, Doris. All right, let's uh, let's let's begin. Let me see. What will be number one? What can someone give me the answer for number one? What what uh vocabulary word will go here? Okay, and number one is in my opinion, packing. Mm -hmm. All right, packing. Uh, let me do this differently. Okay. All right, that is correct. Packing is correct. Who wants to do the next one? Number two, what, which of these will be the, the goods? Mm -hmm. uh, number two is inbound process. Mm -hmm. Unloaded and then checked. All right. Mm hmm. Class. Managing returns. Managing returns. Managing returns. But thank you, Thelma, for your participation. All right. Managing and I'm probably I'm going to just leave it like that, managing para no bloquear todo. All right. But you, you should know it's managing returns, all right? Managing returns. I'm going to do it like this. With the R. Managing returns. All right. What about number three? Now, Thelma, number three, all right. That one is... Okay, <laughs> in my opinion, it's shipping. All right, anyone else? Anyone else? Number um, three? For me, in, in bow process. For me too. Bow process. All right, inbound. Inbound process. Okay, inbound, inbound process, sorry. inbound processes. Okay, what about number four? What will be number four? Anyone? Picking. That was easy, right? Picking, right? Picking, what about number five? <laughs> I hear someone. Layout. layout yeah, right? it's yes, it's layout. Layout and uh, and slotting, right? I'm going to put SL, right? Porque no va a caber. It's not going to fit. Layout and slotting, right? Number six, the last one, right? Which one is it? Shipping. 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 Uh, shipping. Now, I'm going to ask the class. <clears throat> do you have any question about this? Any word that you do not understand? No? Okay, so, entonces todos saben que es slotting, ¿verdad? This word right here. Woo, 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 woo. Right, this word right here. Preparar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you be a little bit more specific? Porque yo puedo decir separar... Eh, Dos personas, eh, separar la comida. Is that slotting? You're, you're, you're close, Abigail. Ahí va en ese rumbo, right? But can you be a little bit more specific? Hmm? You're correct. Uh, when you have a space, uh, your space is divided into different slots. Ah, yes. I see. That's much more specific. Perfect. That is correct, Abigail. Right? When uh, Abigail mentioned slots, 
Ella dijo la palabra slots, right? Slots. And you see those when you go to the store or when you go to, when you go inside a warehouse, right? Slots or, or, or space, right? She mentioned space or spaces, right? So when you go slotting, it's a little bit more specific, right? The layout, ya sabemos que es el diseño de la bodega, right? But the slotting is ya lo, 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 lo central, the central part of their warehouse, right? Se dividen en, en lo que dijimos aisles, right? Lo mencionamos temprano, aisles, la, las, los pasillos, right? And then within those aisles, el producto está, or it, there could be a sign that said, um, aisle two, beans, rice, oil. Aisle three, uh, cereal, pasta, right? Está bien definido, yeah. Everything is defined. And then when you go, you have the slots. Los slots son los espacios pequeños donde está el producto específico. Like, for example, aquí puede estar, you could have the mayonnaise, right? A la parte de la mayonesa, ¿qué normal sigue? What do you think is next to mayonnaise? Mustache. Huh? Mustache. You're talking about mustard? Yeah. Mustard, right? Ketchup. Must uh, ketchup, right? So you have mayonnaise, then mustard, ketchup, or sandwich spread, right? And those types of things that go with it, right? Thank you, Freddy. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Carla, your microphone turned on. All right. And those are slots where you separate everything into an orderly fashion. So, una orden. so when you work at a place, you can say, hey, uh, where are the screws? ¿Qué son screws? Los tornillos. You know, I'm buscando tornillos, right? Where are the screws in the, in the, uh, or the bolts and screws or nuts, right? They're like, oh, aisle two, right here in the middle. Y ahí uno lo lleva, la persona lo lleva, y le dice, aquí están, right? Porque ya sabe la ubicación. We're talking about the, the location and the precise spot where the product is. They could be slots in the spaces. That's what it's talking about. Eso es lo que significa slot, right? Something, and just like Abigail said it. Okay. And Teacher. I, Yes. Sí, sure. mm -hmm. Is that is similar um, to shell shelf? Yes, it's similar. It's, it's similar. The only thing that the difference is, Thelma, los dos son para poner cosas. They are both to store stuff, right? But the shelves, um, the shelves son las que están altas. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. For example, in your kitchen, en su cocina, si tiene shelves. Está, yeah. abre, those are shelves, right? But oh. slots or the spaces for the slots, eso puede llegar hasta abajo, que uno se agacha a agarrar un producto, right? But, okay. yes, right? But they're similar, Thelma, they're similar. Okay, okay. okay thank you. They, they both, los dos tienen el mismo propósito. They both have the same purpose to store products, okay? But thank you, yeah, that's correct, that's true. They're very similar. All right, let me see. Okay, let's continue. Now, um, now before we do these activities, this activity is a little bit more analysis and critical thinking. So I'm going to do the second attendance. Okay, that way we don't have to stop for the attendance and you can do the activity freely. Let me see. All right. Abigail, let me stop. Present. Okay, thank you. Blanca. Okay, yeah, she, she probably still driving. Brenda. Okay, not here. Carlos. I'm here, teacher, but okay. my internet is really. Yes, I can tell. I can hear you breaking down, okay? As long as you're here, Blanca, I will put you present, okay? Just stay connected, okay? Okay. No problem. Carlos?
All right. No, he's here. He's driving also. Doris? Present. Thank you. Edwin? Edwin? Okay, not here. Francisco? Francisco? Okay, not here. Let me see. Freddy's? All right, thank you. Glenda? Present. Okay, thank you. Iris? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Jackie? Present. Okay, thank you. Hey, the lights are not on. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're on right there, right? All right, I see them. All right, let me see. Jennifer? Present. Okay, thank you. Juan Jose? Juan Jose? Okay, not here. Carla? Present. Okay, thank you. Miguel? Miguel? Okay, not here. Neftali? Present teacher. Thank you. Rolando? Okay, not here. Telma? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Janari? I'm here. All right. <laughs> Alvin? Alvin? I know he was here. All right, he probably disconnected. All right. Let's continue. Now, what, what we're going to do is the following. I want you to just pay close attention to the instructions, okay? The, the instructions are not, the way I repeat it, are not here. No están aquí. Yes, they are related. Están relacionadas con lo que van a hacer, but this is not the activity that I would like for you to do. All right? Because it's talking about this. All right? It's talking about this, exercise seven, and la que hicimos ayer también les dieron sus propios ejemplos, right? They gave you the, their own example, but I don't want to keep doing like the same examples that the book gives you, okay? Yes, we're looking at the same ideology, the same mentality, warehousing and everything, but I want you to start creating que Que sean ustedes los creadores del contenido también. Right? I want you to be the creators of the content also. And that takes a little bit more time because it's not here. You have to create it. Pero you're probably saying, teacher, ¿cómo lo voy a crear? Oh, yesterday, como lo mencioné temprano, those of you that probably were not here, I'm going to demonstrate what I'm talking about. It's going to be brief, so just please bear with me and just analyze what I'm what I'm about to say. Yesterday, you did this, right? Um, where is it? You did this. Ayer hicieron eso ustedes, right? These five dilemmas. But the book, el libro les dio esto, and you had to go by what the book said but today you are going to create an issue ustedes van a crear una situación errona en el warehouse in the warehouse you have to create um issues like right here you have to create issues in in a warehouse or you can use your job also okay if you want to use your job because i know some of you are probably saying well you know i don't have a Right? Uh, we don't work in that nature. But if you can create an issue, create, se lo puede escribir, create an issue, right? Or a dilemma, all right? A dilemma. You can also create an issue or dilemma, right? Significativo de negativo, right? It's negative. Something negative. 
Esto nos estamos refiriendo a algo negativo. Now, if you create something negative, you are doing it. Usted lo está creando, usted. You are creating it, and you can apply it to your job. Things that you have experienced or things that you think might happen in a job. No necesariamente es que tiene que ser real. It could be something that you have heard or you have seen or you can just make up. You can just make up something. But you have to create an issue. Example. Alguien tiene algo, an example that they could share of an issue or dilemma in your job or in a warehouse that can happen? All I want you to do is create two. No más serían dos. Only two. No hay dilemas en sus trabajos, nunca? Everything is perfect? Uh -huh. No, teacher. Ah, uh, yes, it is. Uh, with inventory. You can use your, you can use job related or inventory, both, or warehousing. Sorry. Yes, related to warehousing In or or it is. You can apply it to to your work or any job activity related to jobs. Teacher, I will try. Ah, there you go. Huh? There you go. Go ahead. Yeah. We start our our activities late. Ah, okay. Start. As a result, as a result, we don't have time for finish. Okay, we don't have time to finish, to finish it, right? Or to finish yeah. them, porque estamos haciendo plural, to finish them, okay. right? Because we use activities, okay. Okay. it's plural, right? Mm -hmm. I, so we can say we start, right? We start activities late as a result, and that's good, you use a transitional word. You can use them too. I would recommend that you use them as well, right? Very good. We start activities late as a result. We don't have time to finish them, right? Very good. And that may that may happen, right? Sometimes in your work area, están en un sitio de trabajo y empiezan tarde, o no terminan, o se van más tarde, right? Either you don't finish or you leave it for the next day, right? And that could be a dilemma. Now, Janari, that's one, right? Yeah. Okay, and then you have to find a solution. Tienen que dar una solución. What would that be? Uh, 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 one solution. Uh, si usted fuera la you have to start over, over time. <laughs> okay. Work yeah. over time. Work over time, right? No terminado, se va a quedar hasta la noche, right? All right, <laughs> work over time. And, uh, and it happens, it happens, it happens, right? Yeah. Uh, I, have, I have worked being in schools where, where we don't finish on time con las notas. Oh, nadie se iba. <laughs> we couldn't leave. Like, ah, son las cuatro, ya lo vamos. You can leave if you want to, right? <laughs> right? So, yeah, I have to work. I, I've had to work in those situations as well. Now, and this, are, this is a great solution, right? Solution, right? So, Janari gave a perfect example of what this activity is about. Ella dio su propio y su propia solución. Yo, I'm going to put you in pairs. So each one of you is going to create one and find a solution, all right? And you can talk about it. And to stay, you can talk about, maybe you can say, okay, that's just one solution, right? But if you can give me two, si pueden hacer dos, right? The other person might say, yeah, that's good, Yanani, but I think, I think maybe if we, I, I otra forma, there are other ways, right? Other solutions, right? But I think this is, this is one that is very common. Esta sí es común, right? This is very common. But your partner might say, yeah, how about this one, right? 
And you can put another one. Pueden poner dos. All right. Tell me, what do you think, class? Do you understand or? I think Yanari gave a perfect example. Two, you have to create, I can say an issue, but it's on two. Create two, two issues and two solutions. O sea, una por una, no es two issues, one and two, one solution, one solution. But if you want to give me two and two, that is fine also. Remember, try to use, like Janari did, the tra transition words if you can, right? If you can, try to do them <clears throat> like this. So that way you can enhance your, your and progress in the English language, right? Use some of these words that I know that are not very common, but try to use. Very good example, Janari. Any questions? Thank you, teacher. No problem. Any questions? or Yes, alguna duda. I'm still, I'm still having. Okay. My internet. Okay, Blanca, I will exclude you. Okay. I will, uh, I will give you permission. Okay. You do not have to do this activity. Okay. All right. So I'm going to exclude you. Okay, Blanca. So don't worry about it. All right. Let me see. Let me see something here. Okay, blank. Let me see. All right, let me put you any questions, any questions before we do this activity. Any more questions? Please ask me if you have any. Do we have to send you something, teacher? No, you don't have to send it to me. You, don't have, you do not have to send it to me, all right? It's Friday. I want you to relax today. I want you to enjoy the day and enjoy the weekend. No hay tareas, all right? We're just going, vamos a hacer actividades. But eh, I know you're going to do them. Yo sé que las van a hacer. So you don't have to send it to me. Just practice with your classmate. Si voy a entrar. I will enter the breakout rooms to see eh, what you're talking about, what you're relating to. And if you need any help, I will help you. Okay? But you don't have to send it to me. So be ready for next week. Next week, si tengo varias actividades for you to do. But today is Friday, and I want you to just... Have a great Friday and enjoy the weekend. Let me see. All right, I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. I'm going to give you like maybe 20 minutes. All right, 20 minutes to do this activity and just speak, concentrate. Yeah. Let me see. Breakout rooms. Many of you are here. All right. I have to do this manually, okay? Because I know some cannot enter. Okay, Abigail, you're going to be with Freddy's. Um, hello, Edwin. Ah, Edwin, me dijo que no puedo. Let me see if he sent me a message. All right, I'm going to give you a um... hello, Glenda. Glenda, hello, teacher. Okay, are you able to do this activity? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, Linda and Edie, um, Jackie and Janari. All right, let me see. Carla and Neftali and 
Jarvin, hello Jarvin, are you still connecting? Jarvin, all right, no answer. Okay, Thelma and Doris, entonces. All right, both of you, get ready. One, two, three, breakout rooms.
I don't I didn't do anything. It's just uh, when uh, just I, I say just 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 that. Resting, <laughs> losing time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, it was it was stressful, but uh, I say I, I asked uh, to my my teacher. Yes. Uh, how can I say uh, superior? O sea, está en inmediato, pero tenemos superior. Uh, okay, you have your your manager, and then you have you have your supervisor. Your assistant. yeah, I have a supervisor, but okay. uh, in some case, in some time, I didn't have a supervisor, so I. I, 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 my relationship was uh, with uh, the general or director. Okay. Now you mm -hmm. can say the one that's closest to you, right? Can, uh -huh. The one that's closest to you. When when things go wrong, the first the first level that you go to will be your immediate supervisor. Mm. Immediate supervisor. If you can, you go to him first. And then it goes up and it goes up. But the one you have the, like, the first line, la primer fila, right? first line of supervision will be your immediate supervisor. Immediate supervisor. Yes, right? Oh, okay. Your immediate okay. supervisor. Right? Okay. Not, it's related to immediately, pero no es la palabra igual, right? Immediately, no, no, no. your immediate supervisor. Immediate. Yeah, immediate. Yes. Immediate supervisor. That means okay. the one that when something happens, you go to talk to him. Although uh -huh. hay más sobre él, right? There's someone yeah, about yeah. here. But that will be your immediate supervisor. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. All right, no problem. Well, uh, when I, uh, I I didn't have a, um, I told my, my co co worker uh, that I, Yeah, I think he... Hello, teacher. Hi. We're Googling. Hmm? We're Googling. For preparedness. <laughs> yeah, that's one, right? For yeah. preparedness, right? When, when, you, oh. when you're not prepared, uh, when you don't prepare efficiently, right? You know, right? We have poor preparedness for, seas for seasonal demands. As a result, there was not enough product in stock. So yeah. we, we're going to have that as a solution and be aware of the current market trends and uh, fluctuations in demands for, for the product that you work with. All right. Yeah. Great. Great. Yeah, if, you, if you're looking for it online, there's no problem with it. All right. As long as you're able to see it and understand it. That's the, the objective here also, right? To understand and comprehend what you're looking for, right? Very good. Continue. Perfect. Okay. Bien gracioso porque... Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi. Teacher, <laughs> how do you say eh, multa? Okay, fine. Fine. All right, I'm going, you, would you like for me to write it? Do you want me to write it for you? Fine. Fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can get a fine. Now, if... Um, when, when we use penalty. Esa es una uh, a penalty. Sanción. Yeah, es una sanción, right? A penalty. All right? Penalty. All right? Es una sanción, pero penalty también se utiliza for different forms, different ways, right? Eh, for example, in, including soccer. Un penal se le llama penalty. Okay. Al, 
al penal de gol, cuando tiran el gol, el penal uh -huh. de, de, en It's inglés. Es más general. Sí, yeah, es más general, pero aquí hay otra. Ticket. Ah, ticket. Ticket, cuando sea, cuando uh, get a traffic infraction, this is when you're driving, cuando va manejando. But if, if we put the not correct price in, the, in a product, For example, the authority uh, can can put use a uh, a sanction. A sanction. Okay. Yes, that would be a sanction. 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 Eso sería una sanción. Mm. Right. That's the, uh, This is more. Esto ya son. Estamos ya in in legal terms. Yeah. All right. Esto es más in the legal perspective, right? So this is more. Formal. Oh, okay. Right. Penalty is more. Um, the. For example, I I work with lawyers mm -hmm. some years ago, and when we talk about um, a multas It for incumplimientos de ley. It will be a, a fine. We, we put this this term, uh, penalty. But mm, in, in focus, you can, yes, in you can terms use terms monetaries. Yes, you can use the penalty for for this infraction is. Eh, la sanción por esta infracción es eh, tal y tal, right? Yes, yes, you can use penalty. All right. Okay. Eh, también yes. se, hace, se hace lo que es en área penal, penalty phase, la fase penal, right? Penalty yes. phase. Right? This is where the person eh, es sancionado. A, you can be sanctioned for a year, two years, or a big fine, right? A big fine, yeah. Yes, a big fine. Fine is only for money. Mm. All right, only when we're talking about money. All right. Okay. All right. So when they say, tengo una, una, a fine, when you get a fine, you're talking about money. No es como una sanción. Una sanción puede ser en escrito, right? It could be an observation or it can be a direct, uh, a direct uh, mm -hmm. sanction to the employee, right? Or the yeah. person. But fine, exclusivamente money. Money. Yes, cuando estamos eh, una multa de 100 dólares, you're going to say a fine. Y también se usa el penalty. All right. Yeah. But in general, But, sí, uh, in general, you can say fine. In the legal system, you use penalty. Okay. And then if you get like a ticket, if you're driving, eh, las que le llaman las esquelas, esquelas, uh -huh. Escal esquelas, right? The, these are tickets. Esquela, esquela. That will be a ticket. A ticket. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank for, you. No problem. Thank you for asking. The, okay. Hello, Alvin. Welcome back. Hello, dear. I was so problems with my internet. All right. Yeah, we were. I was in breakout rooms with the other students, but um, we're almost finished with the activity, so I'm going okay. to bring them back so we can. I will wait here. All teacher. right. All right. No problem. Thank you. Well, I'm glad you came back. Okay. Let's see. Okay, welcome back everyone. All right, I hope you gave some good uh, observations in, in relation to your dilemmas in a company, right? Those, that was the activity and the solution. I, I, I just want to hear somebody give me another example similar to what Yanadi gave us in class. Can someone give me one that they shared 
with your classmate, with your partner, and the solution that you have? It could be one from the group. The group you were in, in partners. I just want to hear at least two, two, two volunteers. Two volunteers. Just give me one example. I'll give you one. Okay, Freddy, thank you. For preparedness for season demands, as a result, there was not enough product in stock. The solution, be aware of the current market trends and the fluctuations and demands for the products that you work with. Very good, very good. Excellent, well done. Anyone else? Anyone else that would like to share one dilemma or one issue and a solution? Además, Doris, help me, Doris. All right, go ahead, Thelma. And Doris, all right. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. In the the. The, is a my customer doesn't pay taxes on time. <laughs> okay. And a consequences, he will be paid and fines. Mm, he will be paid multas. Ah. He will pay. He will pay. He will pay. Fine. Right? Fine. Mm -hmm. okay, very good. Mm -hmm. As a consequence. As, As a consequence. Very okay. good. Very good, Doris. Well mm -hmm. done. Very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And, uh, and another solve could be the customers have to pay on time. All right. Very good. Punctuality, right? On time, the hotel. All right. <laughs> On time, right? On time. Very good. Very good. Excellent. All right. So that was a way to, this activity was a way for you to develop your own thinking skills, your own critical thinking analysis to elaborate and create some dilemmas or issues in the workforce, right? Good job. Good job. Let me... Let's continue with the next page. All right, let's go to let's go to the next page, which is page twenty nine. Oh, let me see. Hold on. I'm sorry. Page thirty. We just did page 29, page 30, page 30, and I'm going to call on, Carla. Hello, Carla. Hi, teacher, do you Hi. hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you read, please, right here? Yes. I will be able to make suggestions related to warehouse management issues. Okay, continue. Okay, let's start. What are some common issues related to warehouse management? How can these issues affect productivity? Okay. Now, I think we saw some of this already. Ya vimos algunos, right? We saw some earlier. And on page, on page uh, 20, 29, right? On the page before, page 29, we saw some of these issues that could arise and you mentioned some yourself, some issues related to work or even warehouse. And there are some that we saw on page 28. Now, I think, um, Freddy's mentioned something about 
some issues, right? With fluctuality, right? And those are some of the things, those are some of the issues that can affect productivity, right? Productivity. If you don't have a, a, a good establishment of flow in a warehouse, if you don't have your in and out in accordance with the schedules, punctuality, and good management, you're going to have chaos, right? You're going to have chaos because when you could be saying, right, okay, in 30 minutes, can I get terminate the unload the truck? Because in five minutes after that, vamos a tener que, we have to load a truck. So if the person is taking their time, right? And then the manager comes and says, hey, you're not finished unloading, right? Son cuatro de ustedes, right? It's four of you. Y ya llegó la otra truck para llevarse otro cargamento, and you're not ready? There's going to be some effectiveness in productivity, right? In la productividad. Product, I don't know how you say it in Spanish, right? But the productivity, the productivity of the workforce or the establishment will be inefficient, inefficient. So just remember that. Uh, keep that in mind. Productivity is important for the business to progress in a positive manner. All right, let's continue with number two. Let me see. Jackie, can you continue, please? Okay, number two, imagine you are in a warehouse manager. Imagine you, you are, imagine you are. Imagine you are in a warehouse. Ah. And you are a warehouse manager, sorry. Yes. And you are experiencing problems with inventory counts and misplaced products, product which of the following issues will you solve first? Continue. Yes, please. Okay, Ar rank the issues from number one. Least affects productivity uh, to five. Must affects productivity. Discuss the ranking with a partner. Okay, so we're not going to do this in a partner. We're going to do it here in class. Thank you, Jackie. And what it's saying here, imagine you are a warehouse manager, right? Imagínese que usted es el gerente de, de, de la bodega. You're, the, you're in charge and you are experiencing problems. You're like, ah, oh, ya hay unos problemas aquí, right? With inventory counts, con la contabilidad del inventario, right? So imagine, imagínese usted, you're the manager, you're the, you're the gerente, and you're having problems. With inventory counts, con la contabilidad de inventario, and productos que están como misplaced. Misplaced means, ¿dónde están, right? Where are they, right? They're here, but you said they were here. Sí, allá los puse, right? Pero ya, right? Misplaced. Misplaced is when, cuando uno pone un, un producto donde no debe de estar. That is misplacement, all right? Uh, uh, for example, see, if you're working in uh, Super Selector, let's say I'm working in Super Selector, right? Uh, y me dan el aceite, the Western oil and, and canola oil, those different ones. Y empiezo a poner allí, uh, uh, what? We talked about mayonnaise earlier, right? Y empiezo a poner yo la mayonesa allí. I'm misplacing the product, right? So the oil va a estar allá donde tiene que estar la mayonesa and the mayonnaise over here in the oil, right? And then with the Manager comes y ve ahí el precio de, de, de la mayonesa vale siete dólares, right? You're like, what, right? This is supposed to be the mayonnaise, pero está el aceite ahí, right? It's those, that's what is misplacement. Eso se refiere, misplaced product. So, if you, if you were the manager, which of the following issues will you solve first? We have issues here. Dilemas, problemas, problems, right? dilemmas it says which would you solve first cual solvería primero basándolas un ranco un rank del uno siendo el menos productivo the least productive 
right? Least affects productivity, pero aquí dice el que menos afecta la productividad de la, del proceso de, de la warehouse, right? Al number five, que sería el que más afecta. So number five sería el que más afecta la pro, productividad de, de las operaciones de la warehouse. So you have five the being the most affects the productivity and you have the issues here. You have the issues here. So you're going to do one, two, three, four, five, cinco siendo la que más afecta. And number one being the least, the one that menos afecta la productividad, right? Which one do you think will be como la que menos afecta? You do number one, y luego number two, la que sigue, number three, así escalando la, la escalera. La que menos afecta, it will be, number one will be warehouse space and, space and organization. Okay, you think that it is the organization and the space in the warehouse sería lo que menos afecta la productividad. Yep. Okay. All right. Anyone else? The answers vary. You're the manager, right? You decide which one will you solve first. So I want you to do one, two, three, four, five. Que el número cinco, número cuatro sean las más las que más afectan la productividad de, de, del procedimiento de la warehouse. All right. Okay, teacher. All right, so I'm going to give you In just like maybe two minutes. This should be fast. Now I'm going to give you like two minutes, but Thelma, would you like to say something? No, teacher. No? Okay. Listen only. Okay. All right, so I'm going to give you like two minutes to rank them, to the del ranking for you, right? Freddy, so you finished already? Yeah, all right. So I'm going to give you like a minute or two. This is fairly fast. You're the manager, so you decide. You decide how will you solve it? How will the issues you will solve first? All right, let's continue. I need um, I need one or one or two volunteers that can give me. Their opinion. All right, go ahead, Freddy. Uh, number one will be warehouse and space 
organization. Number two, be kind management. Number three will be in a receipt and purchase orders. Inaccurate. Inaccurate. Accurate receipts and purchase orders. That will be number three. Number four will be lack of cooperation between departments. And number five will be lack of communication between employers. All right. Okay, very good. Very good. Excellent. Remember, there are no correct or wrong answers. There are no correct or wrong answers here. You decide, right? Anyone else? Thelma. <laughs> this is my opinion. Yes, there, there are correct. Okay. No, there's no wrong answer here. Okay, okay. Um, the number one could be um, where warehouse space and organization. Okay. It's similar answer to Freddy. <laughs> that, that's Freddy. Okay. And so number two could be time management. Number three, and uh, inaccurate, receive and purchase, receive, excuse me, receive and purchase orders. And uh, number four, lack of of cooperation between departments and the main problems in all company <laughs> is <laughs> lack of communication between employees all right very good very good yes. excellent thank you Freddy. disagree Freddy. with Freddy. <laughs> okay anyone else anyone else all right let's uh let's continue then with the next page not the next page, but the bottom part and the last part. Here we have some more vocabulary. And let me see. Yanari, can you read the number three, please? Okay, building vocabulary. Label the warehousing alternative to their corresponding definitions. Okay. Dropship, mm -hmm. public, public warehouse, private. Private warehouse. Mm, mm, okay, private, private. Private. Private warehouse, direct shipping, contract warehouse. Okay, very good. All right, thank you, Yanari. Now I need someone else to read number one. Um, let me see, Abigail, can you read? This is Abigail. Number one. Yes. This is. This is a method of delivering goods from the supplier to the customer directly. Okay, thank you. Alvin, number two. It is operated as an independent business offering a range of service, such services. as storage. What? Services. With the services, end. yeah. Such as storage, handling, and transportation on the basis of a fixed or a available fee. Okay, variable, variable. Variable fee. Very good, very good, excellent. Number three, um, Carla. Carla, hello. Okay, Neftali. Neftali. Warehouse owned by a third party entity. These warehouses provide specialized services in addition to allowing the client to store goods. All right, very good. Can you say this word, Neftali? Owned. Oh, yes, much better. Owned. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Let me see. Glenda, can you do number four, please? 
The retailer does not keep goods in the stocks, but instead transfer customer orders and shipment details to the manufacturer, another retailer or a wholesaler who then ships the goods directly to the customer. Okay, manufacturer. Manufacturer. Excellent, good pronunciation, very good. Thank very you. Very good, Glenda. Um, finish, please. Mm. Um, Freddy's. Okay, number five, right? Yes. It is a storage facility that is open to the gen to the general public. While this kind of warehouse is used by private individuals, they are also used by companies of a small to medium size to store their goods safety. Safely. Safely, right? Very good. All right, safely. Excellent. Now, just can you put the vocabulary words here? And then we're going to look at them here in about two minutes maybe two to three minutes, I will give you, try to find the vocabulary that matches to the definition. You do not have to send it to me. Teacher. Yes. I have a doubt. Okay. What is the difference between drop shipping and direct shipping? Okay, you have here direct shipping, right? Yeah, drop shipping and direct shipping. Okay. The the drop shipping is. It's where the retailer, aquí estamos hablando del retailer. Oh, okay. like Dropshipping, the retailer it doesn't keep the stock. O sea, no contiene, doesn't have the product in their, uh, in stock. Okay. For example, uh, dropshipping is when you order something from the retailer, mm -hmm. but they do not have the product in stock. So they send that. Mm, ¿Alguna vez has tratado con, have you ever tried to buy something and they tell you, no lo tenemos aquí, pero lo tenemos allá, right? That is what, what it refers to drop shipping, right? That the place that you go to doesn't have the product and they have to go to the other company to get it or to a, to a third party to get it done for you. Mm, okay. okay, okay, okay. Thank you. All right. And that will be a uh, method delivering goods from supply to the customer directly. Excuse me? Oh. That will be the same, number one to number one. Drop shipping. This is, the, this is a method for delivering goods for supplier to the customer directly. Mm, which, no. one would, which one would, did you say? Number one would be number one. Drop shipping would be number one. No. Mm, no. This like, is the supplier directly to the customer. And drop the one shipping. is the number four. Yes, the all right. Retailer does not keep goods in a stock, but instead transfer customers' order and shipment details to the manufacturer, another retailer, or a wholesaler, who then ships the goods directly to the customer. Yes, that will be drop shipping. I think right. number one, it's direct shipping. Shipping. Yes, direct shipping. That is correct. Direct shipping is, uh, it says, aquí está la clave, directly. All right. It goes from the supplier directly to the customer. That's direct shipping. All right. So, for example, if I, if I go to a store and I tell them, hey, I need this product, like Curacao or any other company, right? And I go and they tell me, okay, we're going to send the product to your house. It directamente, whoop, right? But if you go to drop shipping, you go there, they don't have the product, and then it goes to like, that's drop shipping. But this is just like Blanca said, drop shipping is number four. All right. But good, good, uh, good effort. That is, see, this will be drop. Just, 
in Blanca just said it right. Number five is public warehouse. Yes. And number two is contract warehouse. I think number two is private warehouse. Yes, it's private. And number three is contract warehouse. Because yes. number two is talking about it's he owns the warehouse and number three talking about the three person, the third yeah, third the party third party entity. Yes, that is correct. Here on number two it says independent. It's more privately owned, right? Privately owned. Yes. All right. Let me see. Private warehousing. All right, and then number three was public, right? No. What would be number three? Contract, contract warehouse. warehouse. Contract exactly. warehouse. That is correct. Contract. contract, right? We're talking about third party. And then warehouse. And then number one would be direct right direct shipping all right so those those are the answers i don't know if they're going to be like maybe in your in the homeworks in the platform all right so keep this in mind for monday and remember, if you haven't finished the platform, please finish it by this weekend, right? Y así no esté lunes a la última hora, please. Right? It's very short. It's bien corta esta, very short, this unit in the platform. Right? It's only a few activities. So try to finish. Let me see. So I can put your, su nota el lunes. All right, the ones that are finished already, hoy mismo se la voy a poner. The ones that are finished by today, I will put it there in case, por si acaso, mañana que trabaja administración, ya están viendo que hay un progreso. All right? Okay. Yes. But well, there's an error on the platform. Yes. Yes. Uh, and I, I mentioned that in class earlier, right? Se lo mencioné en clase al inicio, ¿verdad? Alvin, eh, and I even mentioned that, that you helped with that. Porque usted fue el que me mandó la captura, Freddy. Right? Y me comuniqué con la administración. I did. All right? I did uh, contact them so they are aware. If it's not fixed by tomorrow, I will contact them again. And if it's not fixed by tomorrow, I will call them on Monday. All right? I will call them on Monday. All right? Porque yo quiero que ustedes tengan el 100% de ese puntuaje. Right? Es suyo y se lo merecen si sacaron todo bueno. Sí. So I'm going to fight for you on that, all right? For those five points. <laughs> There's five points, right? Los cinco puntos, all right? So they're yours, so I'm going to fight for you about that, all right? Until it's corrected. All right, class, and let me see. We are pretty much finished with those two pages. And on Monday, we are going to see page 31 and 32, and that's it. We are finished. All right, if we have time, we can do some extra activities. But other than that, we will be finished with unit three. And then we will go to unit four, which is inventory, all right? And then remember that in unit four, you're going to do one presentation also, all right? One presentation also, así como hicieron en la unit two, all right? One presentation also, all right? And we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens, all right? So be ready, all right? So be ready for that. And I'm going to take the final attendance here real quick. Let me see. 
and I hope you enjoy the weekend. Have a great time. Let me see. Thank you, teacher. All right, all right. Thanks. I hope you enjoy your weekend too. Yeah, all right. I will, I'm going to watch probably movies. I'm going to be more relaxed this weekend. Last weekend was a little heavy, but this weekend I'm going to be more relaxed. And I'm also- I'm just waiting for December. <laughs> yeah, right? It'll be full relaxation, right? Full relaxation, that's true. All right, let me see. Abigail. Present. Okay, thank you. Blanca. Present. All right, thank you. Brenda. Brenda, okay, didn't connect, zero. All right, Carlos. Okay, I know you sent me a message. Okay, Doris. Present. Thank you. Edwin. Edwin. Okay. I thought he had connected earlier, but no, he didn't. Okay, zero. Francisco. Didn't connect either. Zero. Hmm? All right. Thank you. Glenda. Present. Okay, thank you. Iris. Present, you too. Okay, thank you. Jackie? I'm here. Okay, thank you. Jarvin? I think he was connecting. All right, there he is right there. Jennifer? Present. Okay, Jennifer, I hope you feel better by Monday, okay? Let me see. Juan Jose? Okay, not here. Zero. Carla? Present. Okay, thank you. Miguel? Miguel? Okay, not here. Zero. Neftali? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Rolando? Rolando? Okay, not here. Zero. Okay, Telma? Present teacher. Thank you. And Janari. I'm here. All right. And finally, Alvin. Present teacher. All right. Great. Let me see. This is class number 19. All right. So today, Telma, you stay for the extra 10 minutes. Everyone else, I want to wish you a, a welcoming weekend. Take care. Enjoy. And it was a pleasure having you here today in class. Bye bye. Bye bye, teacher. Thank you, teacher. All right, you take care. Good night. All right, bye bye. Okay. Hello, Thelma. Hello, teacher. All right. Let me see. Today's your 10 minutes, all right? So if you have any, any questions, anything that you would like to mention, or you would just conversate in English, anything that you would like to, to ask or just speak, it's up to you, Thelma. This is your free time. My main problem. My principal problem. Excuse me? Excuse I don't me? understand you. Ah, no, I, I mentioned that this is? Is, this is your time. These are 10 minutes. Son 10 minutos que que le da el programa para que estemos aquí y si tiene alguna pregunta if you have a question if you just want to speak English or you want to just conversate about anything we can do that here also right pertaining to the topics that we mentioned or any any doubts that you have no I have a doubt teacher my my problem is but I can speak freely this is the problem. Okay. As you know, you know. <laughs> All right. So and then it's just 
it's uh, difficult uh, speak uh, when when I uh, when I want to say sometimes excuse okay. me but in the class what you uh, I have no problem I no problem okay all right then I remember that in order to advance in your speaking abilities you have to speak with others also okay you have to try to communicate with with english speakers because you say that you you lack right that's a fantasy el habla right the, the speaking the accent maybe a little bit more fluency right with the mother fluent ears. but some of the things that I would recommend is try to contact people and communicate with English speakers. What, what do you do, Thelma? I want to ask you, what, what do you do that is, um, see, I can hear the dogs, right? No, like, yes, yes, <laughs> I have some problem. <laughs> yeah, Excuse me. me. No, no problem, I understand. The what do you do to practice English outside the class? Uh, sing a song, teacher. <laughs> sing a song, okay. Okay, and uh, repeat some vocabulary. I have, I, I take vocabulary every class, and I try repeat the the how to say any words and. Uh, I I have some problem in my because during my lunch I take half take my lunch for my my job is so heavy in in this time okay it's, and because I have to take other classes because I I I have studied other language. It's Italian. Italy, excuse me. Italian. I, Italian. Italian language. Okay. And sometimes it's difficult. It's difficult um, study English in Italy. Italian in the same Italian in the same time. Okay, it's... so you're doing two languages. Wow, right? Yes, amazing. it's heavy, teacher. Yeah, heavy. that's amazing what you're doing, right? I don't, I, I don't even study another language, and I should, right? And I should, but I admire your your potential. Yes, I admire yes. your. And then. When I say any word, I think in, in Italian. In Italian language, <laughs> and then uh, and then say, oh, "Come, e come." Yeah. It's a problem. <laughs> yes, I, I can I can imagine, right? You learning the other language, and then the Spanish mixing with the English and the Italian. Yes, I can. I can see your point of view. And the big oh. problem for me now is my boss uh, speak in Germany in Ita Italian. German, German, German. German. Oh, okay, German, Italian, Italian, mm -hmm. and English. Mm -hmm. And then it's a problem. But I, I want. Uh, to to learn English is my is basic for me. It's most important the English for me. Yeah, and can, then English will be your number two language, right? Yes, yes, and then um, what is the problem that? Have I teacher that look at me? 
in about in about teacher in 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 about in about English, okay? ¿Cuál es el problema que usted ve en mí? Okay. Que yo tenga y que tenga que mejorar. Your your sentence structure. La estructuración de las oraciones de de lo que va a decir, right? A little bit more structure. Right? You I can understand what you're saying though. Si puedo entender lo que usted me está diciendo or what you're asking, right? And I can understand when you speak in class, but there's certain times that the sentence structure eh, is a little bit off, aunque esté un poquito distorsionada la, la estructura, I can still understand, right? I can still understand. You probably need a little bit more pronunciation, but you have you have a good level of pronunciation, but you can make it better, better. Lo puedes mejorar, afinarlo, right? The little edges. And How can I better my pronunciation? With speaking and reading. Haga lectura, speak. When you read something, read it out loud. Léalo en al voz alta, all right? Read it, don't, don't, don't read without saying it. Right, because when we read Spanish, we know, estamos leyendo, sabemos lo que estamos leyendo, right? Yeah. But if you want to better your, your speaking ability is to for you to say it and then let your ears hear the pronunciation and then you can go back and say, okay, did I pronounce it right? Remember that Google or any other platform, you can put the words para ver la proper pronunciation. Y ahí usted puede, ok, así se pronuncia. That's how you pronounce. Okay, okay. And that's why, por eso yo en las clases, aquí cuando las doy, si pronuncia mal, si usted ve, yo corrijo. Yeah, yo sí. corrijo, right? No es que, ah, sí, vamos, con, right? So I correct because I would like to hear you have at least meet the standards of pronunciation. The, 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 the sound has to be precise to the ear. Right? Se tiene que escuchar bien afinada. And that's how you practice. But also, if you want to practice your speaking ability, also speak with other people as much as you can. Um, if you have family that speaks English, if you have friends that speak English, try to communicate with them, right? Yeah, you can talk a little okay. bit of Spanish, but try to speak mostly in English. And then little by little, 80%, 90% English, 10% Spanish. But don't go 90% Spanish and 10% uh, English. No. Right? Do the opposite. Even if you make mistakes. Even if you make mistakes. Remember, when I learn English, I learn it by listening. By listening and speaking. By listening and speaking. Yes. That is the best way to learn it. Yes, you need grammar, porque la gramática va alineado con, con todo lo que es un nuevo idioma. Yes, yes. But if you know how to listen and speak, you're going to develop your, your communication skills. Yes, I know that I need most grammar <laughs> teacher. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, all right, but you're doing great, Thelma. You're doing great. And I really, I really appreciate having you in class, all right? Because you, you, you okay, want, thanks. you, you want to grow. You, you, you have the ambition, right? You have the ambition to, to acquire a new language. And a lot of people want it. Muchos lo quieren, pero no se, no le dan el 100%, right? And you give it all you can. You give it all you can. And I can see it. I can see it every day. Okay. So, Thank you, Kishi, for, for your time. No problem. And, uh, um, uh, is, uh, is, is it a problem for me? And the next level, teacher, this problem that I have? The, you're talking about your English level? Are you yes, but I have a, I have a problem. I know, and it's 
it is a problem. Is it is next a, level? Que si sería un problema para el siguiente yes, nivel? Yes. No, no, Thelma. No, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be. Because I I will try to better speak. Yes. Speak remember, better. Excuse yeah, me. Speak better, right? Speak better, yes. yes. Now remember that for the next level, remember that this is basically technical English. All right? So remember that this is Inglés para el trabajo. So the vocabulary that you will see, the rest of your classmates tampoco saben todo el vocabulario técnico. All right? So I don't want you to feel like, oh, quizás yo no, 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 no. I don't ever want to, for you to feel that way or for you to think like that, Thelma, because you have the potential. You have the potential to continue with this program, to continue to grow, because that is the only way you can do it. Don't stop in anything that you do. Just continue, continue, right? I can give you an example. When I started learning English, ustedes tienen una ventaja en aprender el idioma that you do not have people making fun or bully. Nadie le hace un bully or something like that. When I started learning English, I went through that. It's like, ah, no puedo hablar. Yeah. They used to laugh at me. People, <laughs> right? Be like, you can't even speak right. A mí me lo decían, right? But because I learned it in the United States, yeah, it's a little bit different, right? But here, you have that, uh, that flexibility that they're just going to hear you and say, oh, you speak English, you speak English, right? So continue, Thelma, you're a very positive person. And I know that whether it's here in, in online or in class, in person, you continue, continue and take advantage. Aproveche la oportunidad esta, all right? Take advantage, Okay. all right? Okay, thank you, teacher, for, for oh, this work. Another thing. Le quiero, dar, le quiero comentar algo. And I'm going to say it in Spanish. Okay? Next week, al final, vamos a hacer una, una evaluación. Y quería preguntarle si está preparada, como decir digitalmente, copiar texto de un correo a una encuesta en línea. Sería digitalmente. Porque en el momento vamos a hacer una encuesta y va a entrar la administración. Y quiero antemano preguntarle, eh, eh, remember with the technology, you were, you were saying that um, you had difficulties. Entonces, que quería preguntar si quisiera antes de que hiciéramos esto, eh, tener una reunión para darle como los tips, cómo se va a hacer esta encuesta, pero sería directamente con ISAFOR. Es obligatorio. Sí. Entonces, no, no, no quiero decirle ya al final, ya cuando y usted me diga, teacher, what, right? Because um, it's something que sí se tiene que hacer, que es el último requisito. Y lo que es, es que le llega un una encuesta, a usted se la van a mandar al área administrativa y la vamos a hacer en clase, juntos, todos, right? Y va a estar la área administrativa allí mismo durante todo el proceso, right? Entonces lo que usted va a hacer es, le va a caer el link de una encuesta, pero va a decir, va a decir INSAFOR, right? And son como... 13 o 14 preguntas, somewhere around there, no es tan larga, pero uh, la vamos a hacer aquí el último día de clase. Y luego usted va a abrir la encuesta, porque se la van a mandar a su correo, y de ahí del correo va a tener que copiar información a la encuesta. Mm -hmm. ¿Entiendes? Entonces, okay. entonces uh, es, es copy uh, paste, copy paste. Ok. I, I have an experience about this, but I, uh, I would like to do before. Quiere que le dé una demostración antes de que, porque ya terminando allí sería el último día y ya no estaría yo eh, en la clase. 
Sí, sí. sí. Entonces no, que, no, quisiera, no quisiera que se quedara usted como, oh, me quedé y ya eh, es el último requisito. Y no quisiera que, que, que se quedara sin hacer, la verdad. Entonces quisiera ayudarle en ese aspecto, sin, si usted lo permite. Claro que sí. Ok. Me gustaría. All right, so I'm going to... I'm going to send you a link and I'm going to talk to you how to do the, the, the encuesta, how to do it, how to copy, paste it, all this. Okay? Okay. okay. Así cuando estemos ahí con la investigación, no, no quede como con sorpresa, right? All right? Right. Right. Okay, Thelma. So I'm here to help you, okay? And, and we, I will contact you maybe Monday. Todavía tenemos tiempo, but I just wanted to let you know, all right? I wanted okay. to let you know ahead of time. Lo voy a mencionar eh, eh, el momento que, lo, que me dijeron que lo tengo que mencionar, pero yo sé que quería mencionárselo a usted también. All right? Por cualquier cosa que no quiero que okay. después salga mal o algo, porque nomás la puede hacer una vez. Ah. Uh, y okay. tiene que quedar como perfect. All right? So, all right, Thelma. Uh, you have a good weekend. Uh, don't worry about it. Ahí nomás le estoy dando eh, antemano. Pero no se preocupe, yo le voy a ayudar en cómo realizarla, ¿ok? Eso no se va a preocupar, ¿ok? Ok. Thank okay, you, Thelma. teacher. No problem. You take care, Thelma. You have a good weekend. And I see you on Monday. Thank you, teacher. Good dress. All right. You too. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.